Are you trying to set up Windows 11 but don't want a Microsoft account? Keep watching for several different methods on how to get past this screen. There are many ways to bypass the Microsoft account screen. Use chapters to skip ahead. Method 1 is the fastest and easiest, but it could stop working one day. Don't worry if it does because there are other methods later on in the video. You need to go through these setup options here and get the Microsoft account screen. So I'm showing those up on screen now. Language options. Windows 11 will take a minute to check for updates, so give it some time. And we're almost there. Skip naming your device. That'll save some time. Do that for all methods in this video. Okay, now at the Microsoft account screen, click sign in and simply enter no at thankyou.com for your email. And click next. And enter any password, doesn't matter if it's incorrect or not. Click sign in. It's going to say, oops, something went wrong. And the reason this works is because that email account is banned. You can now proceed as normal with your username creation. Click Next. Go ahead and put in a password if you want and click Next. And Privacy Settings. I like to disable all of these things, but it's up to you as to exactly what you want to do. And then click Accept. Windows will check for updates again. And that takes a minute. Okay, you'll see that black screen. It's finishing your user account setup, which will take a couple minutes. And eventually you will end up at the desktop. Again, if this doesn't work, keep watching. There are many more methods in this video. And there we go. Your at the desktop setup is complete. No Microsoft account. Important message here for all other methods. You must do this extra step first. Hold Shift F10 when you get to the Microsoft account screen to open the command prompt and enter oobe slash bypass nro.cmd and press enter. The PC will reboot and you can then proceed with the extra and other bypass methods. For a quick technical note, I'm going to show you what's in the file by opening it with Notepad. Just in case Microsoft removes this from future releases and it still keeps working. So when we look at this, it's essentially adding a registry key and rebooting the machine. So you could do this manually too if you wanted to instead of running the script. Okay, here we go. Method two is simple. Simply unplug your network cable if it's a desktop. Shift F10 to open command prompt and run that bypass command. Reboot and setup will run again. Now you can skip through. You won't get those update screens. You may see a network screen with not connected and click I don't have internet there. Click continue with limited setup. And enter your username and password as usual. And remember also to not assign the host name yet. Plug in Ethernet cable. You can see the globe down at the bottom right there. And when we plug that cable in, it's going to change. And you're online. You can YouTube or whatever. No Microsoft account required. Method 3. For a laptop, look for hotkeys to disable Wi-Fi or maybe a switch. Consult your user manual. Run that command prompt again and wait for it to reboot. Again, look at your user manual if needed to figure out how to do this. So setup will run again just like with the other methods and you click I don't have internet. You may see a wired network interface up there also. Now click continue with limited setup and it's going to have you enter the username and password as usual. Another benefit of this method is you get to skip those update screens and turn your Wi-Fi back on and you're back online. Method 5, find your router or modem and unplug it. And again, repeat the Shift F10 command prompt. Wait for setup to run again. Go through all those screens again. When you get to this, you'll see no internet and click I don't have internet or if a laptop or desktop with Wi-Fi, you may see other networks. Just click again, I don't have internet. And click continue with limited setup. Now enter your username and password as usual, and eventually you will end up at the desktop. Plug your router back in, and you'll be ready to go online via Wi-Fi. 
If you don't want the disruption of unplugging your router, we have a different method here. Again, repeat the command prompt thing at the start and wait for setup to get you back. Now press Shift F10 and simply enter ipconfig space slash release and press enter. Click back on the white background to resume and go through the rest of the steps. Click I don't have internet. Notice it said no internet there. Click continue with limited setup and enter your username and password as usual. Once you get back to the desktop, it's a simple reboot to restore internet access. Notice the globe at the bottom right has a little circle through it. We're rebooting here. Back at the desktop, your connection's back on, and you can YouTube or whatever you need to do, no account. Method 6 uses Device Manager to disable network interfaces. Go ahead with the Shift F10 command prompt bypass. Wait for it to run again. Now this will work on any PC, even if you can't figure out the disabling of the Wi-Fi. Press Shift F10, DEV MGMT.MSC, and press Enter. Wait for Device Manager. Expand network adapters there. Right click, disable, yes, on each adapter. And this is essentially cutting off all your network interfaces from availability to be used for the setup process. Click I don't have internet and click continue with limited setup. Now the username. And you're at the desktop, so right click the start button, go into device manager. Look at your network interfaces, there will be more, but right click and enable, and you will be back online and ready to do whatever you need to do, no MS account required. These last two methods apply only to Windows 11 Pro. Windows 11 Pro set up for personal use. Go ahead and run the script again with the Shift F10 in the batch file. Setup runs again and disconnect internet using any of the previous methods. You now see Setup for Personal Use. Click Next and finish the user account setup. For Organization, which is the other option, you can set up for work or school and then There you go, domain join, username, password, and there it is. All right, see description for print comment and latest updates. I'll update if this stops working or if the method changes and comment which method worked for you. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications.